stream. Hit the button. Tweet. And there we go. See, I think I got everything. Let's go, new game. We're finally starting a new game. Yes, I'm fine with this. I did a test. Some testing a few months back. That's what that other save was. I was testing it to make sure my, my uh, settings were good earlier today, too. Sometimes these cut these loading scenes are a little long. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. Hello, my little guy. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... It is a new layout. I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Prison movie. The room's a cell. And the picture, it's... Only for each of us, of it holes. can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. Oh, that's a cool camera. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Do you have the stereotypical green lamp? Hello? Anyone here? Dude, that's an... That's a typewriter. No one uses typewriters anymore. Oh, I've ascended. Oh, I guess I can jump. It's not like that's something you need to worry about. Yeah. Lore. There's a lot of lore in this game, as I understand. Well, that's not good. Uh, but I'm not gonna read it on stream because that'd take a lot of time. I know there are lore videos. I will play those, though. What's this then? 
Oh, it's a bathroom. Why isn't it labeled? Oh, is it dropping frames? Um, it doesn't say that the stream is dropping frames. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. It could be just the game running not super great. I did try to lower the stuff on it, but it's still a little hitchy. Here, I can uh, do a quick drop display. Yes. Let's try those options. That does feel a little better. Urgent. More lore. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti. Janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they say you are no relevant. <laughs> Let me work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna you want to go out. Ah. I've done enough night shift loader jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. He's Finnish. He said, Helvet. And you know, only Finnish people can say that. Did I just turn around and walk the wrong direction? No, this is a different place. There's an elevator here. long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is where I came from. Hmm. Isn't this game to offer the next gen upgrade only to the definitive edition? I think so. I remember there's something weird about it. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? How do we get an opening uh, thing? Cinematic, as it were.
Yeah, that's a good opening. That's cool. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Yeah. Look at that. Like protein? Fibers? Pistachios? Are you mix cracker hot and spicy peanuts? I feel like PS5s are still hard to get. Yeah. As far as I've heard. Oh, wait. There's an alarm going off. Is that coming? No, it's the next room over. First, I want, I want to pick up the lore. Is it not from this room? That could be coming from, like, here somewhere. Unbranding vending machine is really good. I was thinking about it, it's like, I've never seen anyone eat pistachios that are in those things. I just saw it interact. Ah, that's what it was. You're locked. Beep beep. Hmm. <sighs> I just see that. Hmm. That's the weird animation thing that happened. Hey, hey, hey. Diploma. That's a dead man. Give me. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. It's Come out of that, rush a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. <gasps> Look at this place. Hmm. Where am I? Oh, there's melee in this? I forgot. Oh. Oh. I didn't expect that. Now you get to see how absolutely abysmal I am at shooters.
Oh no. I'm even worse at like third person shooters than like first person ones, but I'm not even good at those to begin with either. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go certificate how do you get like a certificate for whatever this is Manipulation of information? I don't know. What would you call this? Shirt. Uh. Hmm. You can't let this happen. 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 This has destructible terrain. Somewhat. Oh my. How did I miss that so many times? What are these? Nothing? A what? Come on. Is it because of this bar? No. Unbreakable, breakable glass. Incredible. Now wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is there... I go back in here. Hmm... still the same. That's just like a... Hmm. Clearance? No. Still no clearance. these supposed to be? The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guidance. Breach the hotline. Huh. 
Ha. Uh oh. I do not want to. Oh, hey, I can break through those. You good? Seems good. Bathroom? Wow. You can really do a lot to the environment. Or it looks like it, anyway. in here reminder if you experience an unanticipated building shift follow these simple steps one search the room for any altered items or objects of power Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room three wait for bureau staff to find you and the object if there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> My wall's busted up, dude. Oh, mod. Interesting. Can I open this? Oh. Dead. material, I assume. This. Oh no. Even that can't break the vending machine glass. The hissing oh. sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our. Not the time. That babbles contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Well, it's caused by house ships do not count towards overtime. Acoustic guitar for sale. Turns out it's pretty hard. If interested, see Greg. $50 is royally cheap. Food left in the refrigerator. Break room has been known to vanish. Can't read the book club. Speak in moderate volume. No personal calls. No food or drink around the borough documents in, or in the copy room. Using the photocopier for personal projects or the 3D printer 
or the Bureau of Stationery, or Access Badge at all times. No discussing confidential projects out loud. The one to finish the coffee pot makes a new one. Well, that's interesting. So I've been taking my professionalism capstone class in college, right? It's my last class before I graduate. <laughs> and they've got this thing, it's like, what is the most effective way, to, most secure way to uh, communicate sensitive information? They say it is to, uh, is to uh, verbally communicate it. Which is interesting compared to that. Uh, yeah, that the, the pop emote has been there for a while. I just never really formally announced it. I've I've had the pop emote ever since like the files for it ever since the uh, ever since it was in a video. I forget what video suits would have been, but apparently I started popping in one video. But uh, that's where it's from. I, d I didn't notice that the protagonist kind of looks like my design until after I had chosen the game and it's like, oh, I'm going to have to see about getting art for this done, which I haven't done yet. And it's like, oh, wait a second. this She's got red hair. She wears like a leather jacket, black jacket. It's like, huh, this is dangerously close to my design. Am I just drawing myself with a gun? I'm behind on the art uh, for my time. Wait, back here. I'm behind on the art for my streams. I still have to, uh... I have to finish the SMT3 art. Soothe them. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. I don't think I could have a solid case case for plagiarism based on hair color and a jacket. Oh, it's really dark over here. Maybe I should turn up the brightness. I want the melee finish. Yeah. Must cleanse control points. An enemy. Corrupt. Spreading. Control point. Cleanse the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. Oh hey, it's a pyramid. Are you going to say anything more?
can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. She has the it's same really color painful. eyes as I do. Yeah, I'm, this is I'm upsetting. Emily Pope, I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. I don't like her smile, but dude. But somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow, the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the, the director, obviously. We, uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? Does it matter? Serve this weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. So you did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her. But I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? What there's stop up before. Here. Push the hiss out. Oof. This looks awful. This is an accident waiting to happen. Oh, this guy? That who you're talking about? Yeah. It's a thing. With this glass, as it were. Judging by shoes. Over here. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. 
I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, mm -hmm. 17 years ago. Really? The you really called your hometown Ordinary? I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. Kim. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's oh. missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or <laughs> a few of us. Nothing. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The yes. ghost, or whatever he is. Naughty belt wearer is going to belt wearer corner. Said I should find it. <laughs> it's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? Miami. It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. Chat, want to see something funny? That's Tomasi's department, uh, He's the head of communications. How dare you? I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Can't believe this. No, I can. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. The cutscenes and set design in this game are really good. to ask me anything you want to know there are no stupid questions the door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby they should have gotten it open by now follow the signs to the yeah, but first the hotline should be in the communications department yeah, I should go through all this where did the hiss come from I'm not sure you said the hiss was here when you entered did you see anything like that outside before you came in no. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling well, complex to with openings yeah. to the other places as well. Just, or no, sorry, I don't the even know where to start looking. But in the context, it. it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss blood. escaping the building would mm. be the end. Pretty shitty world out there, if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy now, the, it. It does list the game as blood, that, so oh. it could just be he's playing a game called Blood. There is a game called Blood. It was a Doom, uh, like, a uh, game from a while back, if I remember correctly. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, yeah, the oldest house, like. is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been yeah. to New York a few times. 
How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. It wasn't a Doom clone, you don't. but it was like ran on the itch and, and it came out the around the time when that game was new and relevant, if I remember correctly. Unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can't have my gun. I need it to shoot Can things. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house Never paranormal energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranormal forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. What? You got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA yeah. until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Well, that's nice. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Hi, boys. Where uh, progress is? Is it up? No, that's where I came from. They said the fall of signs. Vector elevator. Some uh, unbranded food. Oh, I can't melee in here. Ah, it's here. The thing is in front of it. Oh. Again, a welcome message. I thought the map would be a different menu. It is not. Travel costs.
I cover. You guys good? Have you stopped the yelling? No. Still yelling. Hmm. Maybe not. Scary. Bathroom. Ah, there was something in the bathroom. Said there would eventually be something in here. Also, these are like the worst bathroom doors I've ever seen. Hey, floor. Okay, so that looks like that's where progress is. So I'm gonna go back up to this scary wall and check it out. Oh, hey. Huh. Uh, is this hurting me? Yes. I cannot enter there. It hurts. Oh, this hurts me too. Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. Will you on that? Okay, scary room time. Dead levels. This game is so dark, dude. I should probably... I really shouldn't bump up my brightness. Huh? Stuff? Singing fish. combat music. Wait, I wasn't done yet. Well, hey. Well, hey, well. Oof. He's got a shotgun. He's blasted me through the stomach. Like I said, I'm really bad at shooters. I'm going to blame my bad eyesight. I don't think they'll help. There it is again, our welcome message. That's not the scary room. The scary room is on the other side. I went the wrong way again.
melee build incoming. Wait for him. Come on. Walk around the corner. Bam! Almost. Almost certainly not. I am still at the point where it is just a third person shooter, though. I haven't gotten to the cool stuff yet. It's a lot of boxes, dude. Oh, be, be dropping in. Granada. Just like Star Wars Battlefront. I really love the weird blocky X architecture going back into itself. It's really neat. Brut incredible name for an architecture. Brutalism? Yeah. It is. It's a good name. <laughs> it does feel a little overpowered, though. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Sweet, dude. I found our first videotape. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes so to this point you're still going to Yes. Uh, I'm almost to the point where I'm... I'll catch what up. Exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched Three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Thanks. Thanks, science guy. Communications. It is just All like right Souls. And do I get to, um, uh, when's Andre? Can he upgrade my gun? Hmm? What's up? Energy renewal. Double bathroom. Double the stuff? No. Oh, hey. Oh. Sucks. Scary wall? Oh, very scary wall. It yells at me. What about this? Hey. Samson. What's happening in here? An object of power. Looks like the hiss have latched on to it. No, shoot me. I can't believe they they only are teaching me to use crouch now. What about cover? Cover, bar I barely know her. Got myself, I guess. Oh, the door to door's not real, door's not real. Hmm. 
Oh no. I keep forgetting some of the environment is destructible in this game. Yeah. Come here. Give me classic floppy drive. Babe. We will bonk you. With this floppy disk. You better or be never used we also bought USB drives. You better know what floppy disks are. You're older than me. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they mostly use them as growing pulling the strings? I'm not their director. Is that why they call they use Super Ninja? No. Finally, we're to the cool stuff. Uh, I remember when I, in the brief time that I actually went to school, I did uh, use floppy disks in one class there. My computer teacher put a game called Snowball, possibly Snowball 2, on even Snowball 2, on a floppy disk for us and we all could take it home. But we didn't actually use floppy disks in this first grade class. Oh, we used CDs. Because they exist. Get a bunch of achievement progress. No. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. There we go. I give the game some time to calm down. Yeah, it's drug o'clock. You said that the hotline can be reached through the mail. Ugh. 
the guy I left behind. There we go. Whoop. No, it's still dropping. Hmm. You're playing on a console. Versus me. Playing on a PC. Must open the door. Door opens. I'm never doing stuff I have not seen before. I can fly now. Great.
There we go. Audio should be back. Yeah, it's back. My, uh, my audio canceling program crashed. Which could also have been the source of the, uh, frame dropping, hopefully. Who knows? Ow. I'm going to go upstairs. That hasn't helped. Where'd Guy go? Where is he? Huh? Huh? What's happening? I feel like throwing stuff at him is a waste of time. It's weird that they don't make throwing stuff the thing that works on him. They put all this stuff in the room. Right. Upstairs does seem to be the play, though. not the time. My health. What? Did I blow something up? I feel like I've blown something up. Maybe. I want to see something. Troll point. No, not there. Let's see. No. Ah, here we are. Missions. Collectibles. Case file. Correspondence. Media mode out. There we are. Personal mods. Okay. Energy recovery speed, health, 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 health
her helmet pick up? Let's just go for a health boost. Weapon mod, let's see. Health gained from headshots, reload speed. Let's just go with the headshots, because that's that's for health recovery. And I would like health recovery. Maybe, let's see. No, that, that didn't do it. Okay, so it there's some wind-up time when he's getting ready to throw stuff. Ow, my hills. Ow, I got dunked. But I have figured it out. He has some wind-up time, so you can hit him when he's getting ready to throw stuff. It chunks his HP like crazy. That HP upgrade didn't seem to help though. No skip. They can fly now. Great. Here's with wind up times, it's even more like Dark Souls. A little bit. It needs more mechanics. Tell me that I didn't get him. Bonk. Ow. Don't bonk me back. Where is he? Where are the ads? I need a headshot to No health recharge from that at all. I've been lied to. Where is he? Yeah. 
Hey, there we go. He's running. Is this guy gonna become a recurring enemy? I have a feeling he'll be back. Okay, the game has answered the question. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Is this a mail room? Seems to be full of explosives. So let's see, probably over there. This is where he came in. Ah, there is a door. Door. Line chamber. This. More lore. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The hiss got him. That's what the light up thing was. Ooh, right, got another video. Down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the US Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise guns. Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, we're the odds of all denied them to show up inside a U.S. embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> Got him. Hey. House memory. The hotline can't be far now. Hotline chamber. Oh, hey, it didn't go off this time. Also, you can just walk around it. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the Black Pyramid. Uh. You know, that's on me. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> I walked off the edge. I thought there was a path. Right off the edge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rip you. Yeah. Yeah. At the very least, this game has the common courtesy to not respawn enemies when you die. So it's not like Dark Souls. Got that already. Stand here. Whoa. Have we been here before? That's no. cool. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like 
something recognized from a dream. Okay, National Park. Look at the absolute size of this pencil sharpener. It's as big as my head. Hello? Yeah? Anyone here? Big pencils. For big pencils. Hello? Service. They'll get here eventually. This is the worst customer service of my life. Did he say a room number? I don't think he said a room number. A key. The key has a black pyramid on it. Hmm. Maybe we are here now. No. Nope. There was a door back here. Ah. Yeah? Yeah, that checks out. Now they all have symbols on them. Or did only this hallway have numbers? It was just this hallway? Wait a second. Wait a second, this door wasn't open before. Right? Don't know. Going crazy. Oh, look at that ancient mount. Look at that old TV mount. Ooh, crunchy. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, so I should be until I'm casino at your point. Callous light switch. The law three applies. Law of three. Pick up the phone. Ring, ring, progresso. <laughs> New challenge. Oh dear. What's going on over there? Are you good? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Maybe I was supposed to do that. Yeah? Maybe I just throw stuff at you. I just walk around. Ah, I run. I don't know what. Oh, I mean, given the way this is built, I'm just supposed to avoid these. It's coming back. Nope. <laughs> Ring ring progresso. It is a phone. Yeah. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well.
A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. They're all his, aren't they? Me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Oh. I haven't hmm. thought like I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He hotline, feels more hotline, like hotline. Echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Thankfully there's People a people react point. Oh, here. strongly when I what? tell them about you. Yeah. Wait a second. New door? Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Oh. Huh. Okay. I'm back in... Wait a second. Yeah, this is the office, but there's news. Oh, his body's gone. Okay, I need to check stuff. Okay, well, is there a picture? No. There was alcohol, though. Now the alcohol is gone. Huh. What's, uh, what's happening here? Took away my, uh, melee. Hey. Hello, friends. Guy. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? <sighs> Sorry. You made it. I got the hotline. I can make There's a floating the guy. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He is gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. I if you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? Who doesn't sound happy about that? She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Oh, no. We still got more stuff happening. Look at that chunky computer. Hey, uh... Hey, janitor guy.
That looks bad. That looks like a reactor. Well, that was weird. Ab ability points? Nearest control point. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? Uh, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, I'm going to take that. I want to find out what these ability points are about. Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Pope wants us to get a field lab set up as soon as possible. With what? We can't get any equipment from the research sector until the internal lockdown is lifted. And see what you can find around here. Computers, documents, any measuring devices you can find. Helping Pope is a surefire way to get on Darwin's good side. Abilities? There is a melee build. <laughs> see, health, energy, melee damage, launch damage. Launch grenades back at the enemy. Uh anything i need i need the i need the health digital weapon form slot i'm out of ability points astral constructs weapon forms uh i can't do whatever bonds let's see or countermeasures Kill enemies with surface weapon spin mode. Wait a second. Spin mode. Outfits. Civilian. Pope has asked us to document the peace. Whoever sings is definitely the uh is the janitor from the opening cutscene. But what's her name has had a thing on her head. What's up? Hi, Jesse. Oh, I guess not. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. It said the sound was coming from the elevator. Let's see. Missions? Collectibles? Let's... These, these are ones we've heard already. Cool. But, uh, let's see. Got new ones. My current one is just more health. Energy. Launch cost. This one is... Nothing new there. Cool. By the elevator, you said? Where is the elevator? There's an elevator. Ah. Uh. Meet me in the maintenance. Hmm. Maintenance sector. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, dude, he's got a he's got a Walkman. This man knows what's up. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If yeah. I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? 
Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting thought. Yeah, but what? Why does this matter? I can just I can just break the window. Thank you. Book Club Lopez. Hey, a treasure chest. Threshold run this. Hope he doesn't get mad about at me for breaking his security window. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. The directorial override is right there, in the control room. How in the spooky there? control room with the floating bodies and the giant monolith. We've got some dudes up here. I want me to go this way, but this one's locked anyway. Aww. There's a lot of garbage down here. Oh, they heard me. here. Now, is this other? No, this is just a different place. I know this hurts me if I go in here. Right? Yes. Is over here. There is a room full of oil drums and stairs. You know, that's on me. No. I was exploring. I picked something up and threw it into an explosive cylinder. Forklift. Forklift. You know what? That is also on me. No. I blew up the forklift. I wanted to pick up the forklift. Instead, I threw something at it, causing it to explode. I've learned one thing. Je I've learned that Jesse is not forklift certified. This is what happens when someone who isn't forklift certified touches a forklift. It explodes. What's down that way? I don't want to go down there. There's scary flashy lights.
Thank you. He, did he just keep a poster of himself on his door? No! Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. What does that mean? A very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, but yeah, yeah, you think there's a doctorate in this? What? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. What? That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm out of a small swore out that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside. He's starting to feel the band around his head tight. The situation needs to be fixed. Before the plant blows up, and we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow? But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The what now? works on the task board here. You can do later when you have time. Is this Vacations. side quests? Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. <laughs> but don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. Clearance level two. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Is this... Burn the trash. <laughs> Burn the trash. Throw it yeah. in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a moose. What? I'm assuming a lot of these euphemisms that he is making is just like Finnish euphemisms. Yes. I have taken enough Finnish to know that he is speaking Finnish and I and I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> hey. Oh two, I can get in here. Hey. Treasure? Like that. Well, guess I'm here now. Oh, this place makes me nauseous. That's a merry go or that's a horse? It says merry-go-round on the thing, but... An object of power. That's a horse. How do you think it got down here? You think it looks like this under the plant? 
This is just a horse. This is just like it. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? True, true. Please. Did. Ah, it's taught me the dash. The choo choo allows you to obey the dead. Well, that's neat. They're giving me movement options, what, which is something I appreciate. That also explains why, uh, Nice. Let's see the hiss keep up with me now. Ooh. Oh wait, this isn't actually dead. Very bright. You're going to take me back to the scary room? Maybe. We'll see. Maybe I'll fall upwards. Hidden location discovered. This is a kitchen. Or a break room, more, more than likely. Where am I? Still by the janitor's office. Okay, I know where we are. Oh. bar that my uh telekinesis does. Hey you got brave and walked around the corner. That's not nice. Now this is before the entrance. Let's head up. In here? This is not a good place to hide. I have no way out. It's way up. Here.
are you? I know you're in here. This time we will not fall down the hole, which is probably still there. No? This is the... This is the same. Oh? Television? There's still stuff happening. I hope this is just an episode of the X Files. Oh, it is not. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. What is my home? Huh. Well, that was weird. We will continue to never talk about this again. a shortcut? Yeah, this was a shortcut. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Our explosion. Yeah, okay, following you. Too much. Gotcha. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Beep. Go down. see power plant a dude over there first one check what's in here hey dude guy Chief 
breach. FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? It's they it's complicated. HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just. Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right, Faden, ma'am. <coughs> Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. So what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know what would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? Huh. <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Oh, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Hey, hello. Give me stuff. Dodge efficiency. That sounds pretty good. Body is gonna be so pissed. You have more stuff to say. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Sure. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss having completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? And click out for a second. Hmm. That's weird. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. There's something oh, inside there. Uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. The thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitored or something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. So you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Well, he's from where he's from. 
right there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? Okay. I should be going. You could be from everywhere if they say talking about the guy who regularly speaks Finnish under his breath. It could be anyone. Look alive. Director on deck. Plane control point. Hey, abilities. Health, energy, melee damage, launch damage. What if I just kept going for health? Increase health. Contract spin? Construct, yes. Shatter gun. Yeah. What's this? Ah, it's a shotgun now. Me. Ooh, okay. And I am going to call it there for tonight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week for more. I might see about switching how I'm playing it to see if I can get some better performance so the stream doesn't die like it's been doing. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.